which 11 a disproportionate asset case Minus. no no but what are the offenses offenses i use only the, only disproportionate asset only disproportionate assets it appears that matter is very serious and it is something more than what meets the eye in black and white but what prevented the vigilance from raising all these issues in the fir why have you done this in cash flow. 1 crore 82 lakhs in cash flow. where from his house at gorak wrong absolutely let me complete first yes yes please don't but please I don't get into verbal uh, problem one crore both these matters yours has come as per the request of the lawyers so as per the request of as per the direction of honorable secretary request on the supreme court has used the supreme court has used the word that is first, but it is it is a direction to us all right what is the matter the matter is milord sir petitioner was the vice chancellor one is watching and the other is bail yes, so sir. let us see bail first yes the fir milord starts from page number 13 yes right the case was issued as section 120b 420 of the indian penal code just give us a minute me page 11 disproportionate asset case right no no but what are the offenses offenses i used only only disproportionate asset only disproportionate asset Yes, who appears for the vigilance? Yes, I'm okay. Put in your response. This is much more than beyond the disproportionate as a question. A raid was conducted, which, which led to recovery of assets and wealth. And thereafter, in course of investigation, which I may place my mark, in my last question. Yes. In course of investigation, it came right in the purchase of OMR sheets. by passing all the rules and norms no no that's all right that that is the background for a massive wealth this was this was the raid was the first stage where after all this facts emerged from the recovery of the last two but you have you have lost the case under which section this is see you go by the accusation under section 12 13 2 31 of prevention of corruption act not for any conspiracy for anything it might come in the process of investigation we'll see what is your response to be a court treaty also file your file your response to the petition what is the what is the quantum of money which has been found to be disproportionate to the assets assessment are still going on 1 crore 82 lakhs was found in cash flow 1 crore 82 lakhs in cash flow from his house at gorak wrong absolutely let me complete first Yes, yes. Please don't, my, please my don't get into verbal uh, trouble. One crore eighty-two lakhs from his house. He at Gorakhpur. At Gorakhpur. Uh -huh. Thereafter. Simultaneous raid at his office in at uh, office official residence at Gaya, which led to recovery of all the papers relating to purchase of OMR sheets and other documents, uh -huh. which was kept at the official residence of his. Well, why did you register a case only under twelve thirteen one D? Initially, there was the information. Now it has, is only after the raid that you that you instituted this case. The raid was instituted pursuant to the case. Why are you was, Why are you soft peddling this case? No, Mr. Vigilance. We are We are We are vigorously pursuing the matter. You are opposing the bills of vehemently, but uh, from the FIR, the accusation Lord, made in the FIR, the moment, you seem Lord, to I, have You seem to have given him a very soft my passage. My Lord, I place the moment I place the fact which has come in course of investigation. My Lord, Lord will be persuaded. The case is something else. The court is observing something else. The from the from the tenor of your argument, it appears that matter is very serious, and it is something more than what meets the eye in black and white. But what prevented the vigilance from raising all these issues in the FIR? Why have you done this? Because on the we must question your conduct. Is this the way you lodge a FIR when you conduct a raid with respect to purchase of OMR sheets? You find one crore eighty lakhs from his residence at Gorakhpur, and then you find that uh, as as Vice Chancellor of Veep Kumar Singh University also he had done the same thing and the same. Where have you said what are the corresponding offences for which this affair has been lost? Aren't you aren't you giving him a, a, a aren't you giving him a very soft prosecution? 
my lord i i very humbly my lord i said all these have come the moment it has come everything has been got down and we are meeting how do we know out effort. how do we know my lord once my lord put through the fi the case diary my lord once i got put through the case diary my lord was waiting to record but more than that is, apart from that when you got this information where is the requisition for adding different sections of the ipc in the fi that will require my For which so therefore, therefore, we find that you are uh, you are opposing the bail here, but you are not conducting the investigation uh, as a prosecution agency. Perhaps you are giving him uh, very safe passage. I will take instruction on this point. I will take instruction on this point. Specific but instruction. Therefore, why shouldn't the court grant anticipatory bail? I will place all the fact. It is up to my lord to consider. But that's true. Yeah, yeah. Corruption in a public uh, corruption in educational institutions unthinkable. Right. But what? Look at look at the manner in which you are seeking to prosecute him. You are only talking about the disproportionate asset, and you are not talking about any other accusation. Why? I think instruction of vigilance is helping him. And and all these facts, not that it, these facts are yet to come. You are in no of these facts, and therefore you are opposing. My Lord, may I what please, prevented you from making this? May I please pay the team of the FIR? No. What is preventing you from making this prosecution completely watertight? My Lord, we have we have stated we have stated in the FIR. My Lord, kindly pay seventeen and eighteen. All right. Yes. Yes. Pay the team, my Lord. Ignoring the advice of the court officer, directly entered into criminal conspiracy to raise bill to the extent of twelve, and then after what? All right, we are not inclined to grant you anticipatory bail. Let him. The prosecution may be may be going soft on you, but let him file the prosecution. We are not inclined. Let him file the response. We have given supplementary affidavit. Prima facie, we find from the accusation that you don't deserve anticipatory bail. My lord, sir. Let him file his response. It may be taken up in order directly coming from officer today. We are, we are, we are, today. Uh, we are <laughs> able to make up our mind on the basis of this material only. My lord, sir, the FIR is concerned. The FIR absolute there is nothing. But in so far other materials. What is the just? How one crore eighty two lakhs did you sell in the property? My lord, that was not recovered from my possession. I never resided there. That is a trust. Trust has already filed application for release of that Where money. Where have you said that? My lord, sir, I have no information in the FIR. There is absolutely nothing. The materials which they brought before the London Court below, I have also. I have also filed a supplementary of David, including all the documents, the allegations. Yeah. Both these heard, Mr. Ranjit Kumar, Lieutenant Advocate for the Petitioner in both the cases, and Mr. Rana Vikram Singh for the for the SVU. for the Special Vigilance Unit, which is conducting the prosecution against the Petitioner, Mr. One of the applications is for grant of anticipatory bail, where as the other is for quashing of the subject of fire. The main thrust of the accusation is that the petitioner, in his capacity as vice chancellor of the university, had bypassed all the rules and procedural formalities for making purchases of of papers and other stationery from different persons. Thereby causing losses to the state exchequer as also to the university. Mr. Rana Vikram Singh, learned advocate, appearing for SVU, submits that during the course of simultaneous raid in the house of the a simultaneous raid at different at different places, comma rupees one crore eighty two lakhs were recovered from the residence of from the Gorakhpur residence of the petitioner. Come on, which accusation the learned counsel for the petitioner denies vehemently? Stop. Apart from this, it has been submitted on behalf of the petitioner that, according to the first information report, the accusation is based on assumption, especially that the petitioner may have cornered extra benefits by bypassing the rules regarding purchase of papers and other materials. Thereby causing losses to the government. The 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 learned counsel for the SVU, however, has submitted that there are much there are many more graver accusations against the petitioner, 
which has been unearthed during the during the course of investigation which facts he shall bring on record by way of counter affidavit on the next date stop let such an affidavit on behalf of svu be filed positively by the next date re notify on you have an interim protection from i, I am not interested in granting protection for to you for 3 weeks 3 weeks, weeks. so we put it now before 4 weeks. 4 2022 for 3 weeks so it the it last date ends when 25th 25th of this month. 3 weeks uh, ends on this month right the order passed of 4 4 2022 So we are not inclined there are other grounds they they submitted application before the governor the governor got it inquired by two agencies when was the order passed let us see the order of the supreme court by what time will you file your response in a week time right? that then that that crosses maybe the maybe kept on it maybe kept on 25th one or oh. the time but it was uh, it come on 27th it was no. then then, then you are then you remain without protection and i am not uh, inclined to grant you protection then let it come on 25th yes. i'll come i'll come yes kya likha padhi let such an affidavit on behalf of svu be filed positively by the next date be, po- uh, be filed positively by the next date uh re notify on 25th of april also call for the case child also uh, they they learned counsel for the vigilance is also directed to place also directed to bring photocopy of the case child with him on the next date since the since the petitioner enjoys entering protection by the honorable supreme court come on there is no need to pass any interim order in the meanwhile right both the matters